yeah, so I'm, I'm interested in physical activity, but also aware about how um, a lot of physical activity research and policy is framed entirely around health. Um, but I like considering um, physical activity in practice and how it features in people's everyday lives. So within my research, I was particularly interested in looking at um, generational changes, um, particularly regarding how parenting seems to become more intense over time. And particular attention um, upon parents, if we think about physical activity in play, in that parents are expected to um, produce particularly independent children, and, and that, that may be how they're judged in terms of parenting. Um, but at the same time, they're expected to spend increasingly intense amounts of time with them. So yeah, this race research is based on a study um, that I did with 28 UK residents um, who were born in between 1950 and 1994 to get that um, generational perspective, really. Um, and what I found is that parents feel um, stuck, almost trapped a little bit um, in terms of feeling as though they need to make sure their children are sufficiently active for health benefits and to ward off things like obesity and diabetes amongst children, which are becoming increasingly prevalent, but then also a little bit uncomfortable because they're aware that these childhoods are quite different to their own, where they had much more freedom and spontaneity to be you know, physically active and play and, and playful without really thinking about it with children of the same age independent of, of adult supervision. Okay. One of the implications for from my study um, might be for um, public health policy makers who promote physical activity to be a little bit more sensitive of the context in which their recommendations and advice is received, um, particularly because whenever there's a recommendation for children that has consequences for parents. Um, so Building on that, it, it might be in the future that you know policymakers sit down with children and parents so that children do get some time um, being independent with other children, playing with them, independent of adult supervision, um, and at the same time, parents don't feel so guilty about allowing children to do that. Another implication of the study might be for us as a society to consider, uh, well, reconsider how we um, think about risk within the context of the everyday lives of children. Um, so risk is something that's out there that children are going to need, need to deal with as they grow up. Um, so if they maybe had more opportunities um, to um, negotiate risk independently through you know, activities such as playing in the mud, playing in trees, um, independent of adult supervision to some degree, then that might be useful.